guys, name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics, and today we're doing something that we don't do too terribly often here on this channel, and that is showing off some free to play units. Now, in my opinion, granted, as you can see, I've not actually got to awaken them yet, but of course, I've seen other gameplay and stuff like that. Two of the like best free to play units that are on this game that this game has to offer at this point. Matter of fact, these guys are actually pretty ridiculous. For the fact that you don't have to spend a single dime on them now they are a bit expensive so if you, in case you haven't seen um this is there is a angel ssh2 goku and a majin vegeta that of course are facing each other they're kind of that classic kind of sort of art that they've used for promos before where they're literally facing each other and you get them for free by going over to the baba shop and purchasing them for thirty thousand of the ultimate clash uh, basically currency so to be able to do what we're gonna do today because we're gonna rainbow them out They're gonna be fully awakened. You have to be able to purchase five of them basically um, So that's gonna cost you about hundred fifty thousand there So about hundred fifty thousand of those which technically if you can at least beat battlefield for a full run That gives you without including the sort of weekly resets that gives you hundred fifty thousand right right there um, And then you need to get 30 of these metals which at three thousand a piece comes up to 90,000 so per unit it costs about 240,000 to fully awaken it and to fully rainbow it out um, so you're gonna need about 480,000 of these battlefield points which is why I'm a little late on this because I didn't, I didn't have 480,000 sitting there I bought some LR meta coolers and stuff like that you know what I mean so here we are um, this though is the awakened dart let's go ahead let's get them awakened now once I actually get them awakened I'm gonna hop into it we're gonna rainbow them out super quickly and then we're hopping right into gameplay but as I'm about to hop over and actually get the Majin Vegeta awakened, which by the way, look at the art. Like, it's just, it's just, it's beautiful. Like, this is a free-to-play unit. Now, granted, I know there's free-to-play LRs, they look pretty as well, but it's just, man. Like, that is such a pretty design for a card. And the thing about it is, it doesn't end there, because Majin Vegeta's is just as good. If not, maybe better, because it's Majin Vegeta, and I'm a little bit biased. But look at it. Look at it with Goku chilling out back there. Hang on, let's go. Let's go back into it for a nice full screen display of this. Again, guys, these are completely free. <laughs> these are free to play units. Um, let me go ahead. Let me get these guys rainbowed out, and then we're gonna actually hop into gameplay and we'll actually talk about everything that they do. But let me just say we're probably gonna see some pretty ridiculous stuff from these units today. So first up, we've got Majin Vegeta. Now, he is free to play, right? So that's why what you're seeing here is a more of a average of plus 3,000 to his stats. However, he is going to break uh, 10,000 on HP and on attack, which is nice, right, for a free to play unit. So let's go ahead, let's click this little button right here. Let's rainbow this man out. I have no qualms doing this. This unit is going to be incredible. Here we go. The beautiful, beautiful golden sheen. We are rainbowing two units in this video, not one, two, both free to play let's take a look just really fast at the stats there um, 11,000 plus on HP 11,000 plus on attack and right at about 7300 on defense but once we get talking about his kit in case you guys have missed what this guy can do his defense though he's still gonna be he's, he's gonna he's gonna be all right he's gonna be all right and now we got the Goku also uh, a plus 3,000 because he's free to play so let's go ahead press this button rambling out our second free to play unit on today's video we'll take a look at his stats as well now both these kits are very similar they just kind of work they cap themselves out a little bit differently. And as I said, we'll talk about it once we hop into the gameplay. But also, pretty much the, almost the exact same stats here. Uh, 11k plus in HP, 11k plus on attack, and right at around that 7500 defense. But their built-in kits help them on the defense quite a bit. Okay, so we're in here now. I got the rotation set up the way that I wanted them to. Uh, we are running a resurrected Warriors team, as you can see right here. Uh, and to talk about the units really fast. So the Goku is... Super class key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Then his Majin Vegeta counterpart is extreme class key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Now the way these guys work is one of them has a cap on attack, one of them has a cap on defense that's a little bit higher. So when it comes down to it, they kind of balance themselves out because of the way their kits work. But on Goku's super attack, when he super attacks, he raises his defense for one turn, right? So that's what we're looking at here. Then when it comes to his actual passive, that's when it gets interesting with them. So they give themselves for the first four turns after the start of turn, attack and defense plus 40% up. Then uh, defense plus 30% with each attack performed, Goku has a cap of 120%. Then attack plus 30% with each attack received, Goku has a cap of 180%. So that's what we're looking at right there. 
Then Link's on this Goku, our Golden Warrior Super Saiyan, all in the family, Saiyan Warrior Race, prepared for battle, supreme power, and shining the limit, and he fits into Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, and Pure Saiyans. Now if we back out and we take a look at the Majin Vegeta, he raises his attack for one turn and causes supreme damage whenever he super attacks, and then his passive is the exact same thing, attack and defense 40% up uh, from, the start, from the start of turn for four turns after that. Um, Anyway, defense plus 30% with each attack performed with a cap of 180. Attack plus 30% with, with each attack received at a cap of 120. Links on him are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Pride, Royal Lineage, Over to Flash, Supreme Power, Shining Limit, and also fits on Res Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, and Pure Saiyans. So let's go ahead, let's actually get started with the video though. Um, also worth noting that we are trying our absolute best to hit 350,000 for the end of 2018. So if you're new to the channel, now we're just now hopping into it, but if you're new to the channel and you've not done so yet, consider going down there, hitting that subscribe button, and joining the hashtag Nano Fam today. Now I'm letting this play in not 2x, just so we can kind of see the the beautiful sort of uh, different camera changes and everything else that they do with these super techs, because that's kind of the cool thing about these units is not only are they good, but their super techs are very pretty. Now let's go ahead. We'll we'll speed it back up on 2x here. Oh, he's getting an additional. Woo. Okay. All right. This is actually, I mean, this is good, right? Every single attack that, that these units perform, they increase their defense. So you want them to be attacking as much. That's why with Goku, I went 12 additional. Instead of going my typical sort of 6 additional, 20 crit. Uh, oh no. Cool. Cool. Alright, can, can you just, I'm not oh knowing it about the damage because I knew it wasn't going to be bad. I just want to, I'm going to be able to, I want to be able to press the 2x again. <laughs> I've actually never watched this Bardock at, at uh, not 2x. It actually looks like laggy, almost. I mean, I know it's like not, but it almost does. All right, cool. Actually, it does, it does. I know it's not actually technically lagging, but it does look, it did and does look laggy. All right, here we go. Now then, we're hopping, we're just, we're hopping right in. We're hopping right in. So this next rotation is going to be, this rotation is actually going to be pretty good. So. Uh, do 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 do. Dude, can we stop with that? If they don't, I need them to. I need him to basic attack. I need. I need a basic attack from uh, from Frieza here. Basic attack. There we go. Now we're back to two X. Now it's gonna look normal. One point seven million from this Majin Vegeta. Do you see? Do you see why I'm saying these are these are ridiculous, man? And look at the tanking ability. I know this event isn't like the hardest event. I, I went to this event because it's. A little bit more drawn out um, that way we can actually get I could get the rotation set up properly we could see the rotations actually happening like in a good sort of pace um, and that way it, the the fight is not over just the second you get the rotation the way you want it you know so all right here we go Let's do this and this we actually should see some pretty good stuff from this Goku now which is what we signed up for what we signed up for a ton also if you're enjoying the video no, I said consider subscribing or trying to hit all these goals. But if you are enjoying the video, you can also consider slapping that like button. I need Goku to actually attack, though, is what, what I need to happen here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's what I like to see. You know what else I like? kind of like to see? Just kind of get one more rotation out of it. Fine. Freeze is Freeze Freeze dumb. Freeze is too good. Freeze is too good for his own good. All right. We're gonna see a little bit less this time though, because the kid is not here. But we should still see some not not bad stuff. Um, man, I almost should have put freaking Majin Vegeta in the, the middle slot there to tank more attacks. I think he's pretty. He's not. He got to be. I have him accounting, but he's got to be pretty close to being capped out. I mean, he can only. He can only basically once he receives four attacks, he's at his maximum of attack output. Is is kind of is kind of his sort of situation. Whereas with Goku, Goku can receive up to six attacks before he's at his sort of capped output um, as far as his attack increases. But still, the, the fact that we saw a hundred, not hundred, 1.7 million damage from this free-to-play TY, it's not even an LR, right? That's the thing to remember. Obviously, there's free-to-play LRs that are very good too, but dude, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. This should still be, this should still be pretty gross. This should be pretty gross. He got attacked. He got attacked a fairly decent amount of times last time. This should be. This should be nice. I'm not gonna lie. This should be very, very nice. All right. Let's see what do we, what do we got here from our Goku. You love to see it, man. 1.9 million damage 
from a free to play unit. And he's going again, dude. That, I, you love to see it. You love to see it. This is dumb. Absolutely just ridiculous, man. Are you kidding me? Now, granted, he's getting boosted at a ton. I know. But still. Like, that's the whole point of this team structure. Like, you build your teams that way. Like, I'm literally building it around the idea of, hey, I want... I want these units to do to do crazy sort of damage. And so I'm I'm literally making them my main damage outputters, right? And bringing support units to help them with that. So, man, dude, that is... That's so cool, dude. Like, I'm sorry. That's just... That is so cool. These units have such great super attacks. These units have great kits. These units are putting up amazing numbers. These, these units are putting up Dokkan Festival, if not better, than Dokkan Festival numbers. Why? Why, Freezer? Why did you have to do it? Did you, did you, like, did you really have to do that? Like, was that really necessary? Oh, that was friggin' close! <laughs> Woo! However, don't let your Bardock... <laughs> don't let your Bardock <laughs> tank too many attacks right there. If he, if, he had a, if he had a little bit of orb investment, he would be fine. Unfortunately, he does not. So that's why we saw what we saw there. Alright. A little bit less this time because no Kid Boo. But still gonna see some pretty good tanking here. Yeah, 1.4 million. That Kid Boo is ridiculous. That, that Easy A Kid Boo is, is absolutely gross. But even without him... Still putting up good numbers. Still putting up really, really good numbers. It's... I love it, man. I love it. Alright. Next rotation, because I feel like maybe this video's getting a little longer in the tooth. We're going to just let him... We're just going to let Frieza have it. It's just, that's just all there is to it. Frieza's going to go down. Him with a stupid stun, man. Alright, here we go. This is it. This is the rotation. Ooh, a Dogon attack. Okay, this is definitely the rotation. Alright. I feel like, you know, Majin Vegeta here, even with, even, maybe not his Dokkan attack, but, Kid Buu, Kid Buu boost a little bit, you know? Also, the fact that Kid Buu is going to be attacking in the back there should help us sort of seal the fate of Golden Frieza here, I think. I think. Could be, could be a little bit wrong, though. But, we're getting, we're getting Kid Buu passive, we're getting Bardock's passive, and uh, we're doing a Dokkan attack. What's the attack stat here? Show me. I need to I need to see attack stat. Or don't show me. I must have missed it. There you go. There you go. Free to play unit. 2.6 million damage. It's beautiful, man. It's absolutely beautiful. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, we rainbowed out two completely free to play units, non LRs non LRs here on the channel. Consider going down there hitting that subscribe button. Joining the hashtag Nano Fan today. So slapping that like button guys. That has been today's video though. Have a great great day. Keep on keeping on Nanogenic sign off and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.